Well, for an update on the forthcoming supplementary elections, let's turn to our rise correspondent, Abel Ejikeme, who is in Anambra. Abel, glad to have you join us on Newsnight this evening. What more can you tell us about the supplementary, supplementary elections due for uh, tomorrow in Ihiela? Collation of results were suspended yesterday so that we could um, have a fresh uh, supplementary election in Ihiala local government area of Anambra State where election could not hold due to um, insecurity and concerns. Um, but just a few minutes ago, the Independent National Electoral Commission released a statement um, giving a slight adjustment to the um, timeline of the uh, supplementary election in Ihiala. So the, the, that statement was signed by uh, Mr. Festus Okoye. He is, um, the, is a national uh, commissioner with the uh, commission and um, the chairman of the voter education committee. So they are saying that the election we hold tomorrow, but we commence from 10 a.m. up to 4 p.m. tomorrow. I also spoke with him concerning how prepared the uh, uh, commission was in ensuring that um, those and security concerns were addressed and he assured me that um, they've held talks with um, top security um, heads of and security agencies here in Oka, the Anambra State Capital and they've gotten assurances from these um, security heads to, to, to the extent that um, enough assets are on ground to ensure that uh, materials and the personnel of the uh, commission will be um, duly protected. He also told me that the materials for the supplementary election tomorrow are on ground to ensure that that election, that supplementary election is held, is, will go on as um, scheduled for tomorrow. But for the personnel of the commission, they will be arriving tomorrow due to um, security reasons. We know it was shifted, um, it was moved from the uh, supposed date to Tuesday, not Monday, Monday being um, a, a sit-at-home day across the southeastern state. So tomorrow it is November 9, all eyes will be on Ihiala local government area where uh, the supplementary election for the Anambra state governorship election will be holding. Over to you. Uh, yes, and Abel, you, you did mention moments ago that INEC had to do some uh, slight adjustments. Can you tell us uh, specifically why uh, this adjustment was, you know, has become necessary. And um, from where you are, how enthusiastic are the people in uh, Ihiala ready to come out tomorrow with 148,000 registered voters? That is a lot. Are they as enthusiastic concerning the fact, I mean, considering the fact that uh, November 6 uh, came and went without much uh, security threat? Yeah, there were no, um, majority of the uh, residents here in Anambra State are very optimistic that once um, Tuesday comes, they're going to go out and exercise their franchise. We also know Anambra State to be um, popular with um, low voter turnout, voter apathy. Um, we're, we're not certain of how many of those 148,000 registered voters will come out to exercise their franchise. A lot of results were reeled out um, yesterday and we saw as low as 10 to 15 percent um, voter turnout from majority of the uh, local governments. Many will argue also that um, that um, number was actually due to the malfunctioning of the MBVAS devices that could not accredit um, a, a number of um, voters who actually turned back and went about their normal um, businesses and could not exercise their franchise. But tomorrow we'll see how many of those um, numbers will be willing to come out and be patient enough to wait and cast their ballot. I've gotten assurances from the Independent National Electoral Commission that the Beaver's device uh, the, and technicians have done their, their um, part to ensure that those malfunctioning um, experiences that was um, observed on, on Saturday's election are not observed again. I was also um, told that the adjustment in time uh, line of the election was simply um, to accommodate as many as people that will be willing to come out and exercise their franchise. If you, if you remember vividly on Saturday when the election was going, it was initially scheduled for 8 to 2 p.m., but now it's been extended from 10 to 4 just so that we could, they, they could accommodate as many people that would want to exercise their franchise not to be deprived of their right. Right, Ibele Jikeme, all eyes will be on Ihiala, where we hear the billionaires are already, uh, you know, trying to mobilize uh, people home and abroad uh, to come out and vote en masse. We'll 
be watching every step of it.